Fred, thank you. It was a whirlwind 48 hours fueled by love, gratitude, and hard work. A top-notch wedding was pulled off last week and a lifelong dream fulfilled. Karen Roby tells us a range of emotions filled the sixth floor of the Norton Healthcare Pavilion in downtown Louisville. Cake, flowers, rings, and the dress. All the makings of a dream wedding. and Andrew's ceremony was anything but typical. The family wants to come over and um, they want to have a wedding here. I'm like, a wedding? Nurse Bill Meredith oversees the hospice inpatient floor at Norton Pavilion downtown. He and the other staff members had 48 hours to make a dream come true. The patient's last wish is to see his youngest daughter remarried. Christy and Andrew originally hoped to get married in June, but their plans were put on fast forward. 60-year-old Otto Knopp was diagnosed with cancer just two months ago. Doctors warned there wasn't much time left. Otto's family members say he lived a life full of laughter, happiness, faith, and family. His final wish was to walk his youngest daughter down the aisle. Although it wasn't the way he always envisioned it, the wedding was nothing but joyous. I watched him have cake wash it down with milk, and then toast it with champagne. And it was absolutely amazing. Hospice employees are charged with a great responsibility, helping patients and their families transition through the last phase of life. Because I look at it just like birth. It's a joyous occasion, and everyone has these awesome memories, and death can be the same thing. The family believes the hard work put in by hospice employees resulted in a memory that would have otherwise not been possible. Otto died less than 48 hours after the ceremony. Knowing his final wish was fulfilled brings his family great comfort. Karen Roby, WLKY News. Family members from as far away as Florida came to the wedding. The bride and groom say it was a perfect day, making the best of difficult circumstances. A man in northern Kentucky is working to 